We are all in awe with super talented individuals in their God-given abilities. But of course, just like the rest of us, they tend to struggle and struggle very much. And today's show talks about two of Hollywood's most known African-American actors and comedians who both have their individual struggles parallel of each other. First, there is Cat Williams. We all know about him. He recently was on the Shannon Sharp podcast. It got over 13 million views and he called out a myriad of comedians. People like Ricky Smiley, Sergio Entertainer, Martin Lawrence, Kevin Hart, and many more. But then there's Tiffany Haddish, who might not be as talented as Cat Williams, but she's had an array of problems. Can't keep a man. She got dumped by Common. She can't keep roles. She keeps getting dumped by studios. And she's, um, can't get a wreck sound effect, Nima. She loves drinking and driving. And there's allegations that Cat Williams can't stop using drugs and drinking himself. As much as Cat Williams and Tiffany Haddish are different, the allegations of them are similar. A lot of people will say they didn't live up to their own expectations because of their own demons. Let's start with relationship demons and we'll talk with Cat Williams. His ex-girlfriend Hazel E had some pretty interesting things to say about him just a few weeks ago. The cat Williams, he's so little. He did choke me out once and we had like a whole little legal thing. And it was like at New Year's at Soho House. It was like a quick and it ever that moment got corrected and rectified through attorneys. Knew How better. much he paid you for a choke? A lot of gifts, my booty, I had got my BBL, I had got a Porsche that day. Like a $65,000 cash gift. For a choke? Cat holds his own for who Cat is. I don't expect Cat to be like Shaq and then be like Cat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Cat. <laughs> cat is Cat, and Cat got Cat. So you're saying the d is proportionate to the body. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. And all oh, this classic rant that Cat Williams said about Hazel E. In the middle of a conversation, 13 years into the marriage, then so be it, nice lady. You should have whatever the f you're trying to get. But you know that's not what you offer, nice lady. You so quick to come home talking about, I didn't talk to none of them. That ain't what you say. What you say is I didn't talk to none of them broke ass. You know why? Because you made sure they were broke first. You still checking your options faithfully. Ain't nobody fooled by you. I used to have a just like that always talking about, I never another man while I you, yes, you ate 39 random vaginas. Knock it off with your half faithful. You knee deep in every time I talk to you. I know I laid the out for you. You know what I'm saying? I hate people that don't tell the truth, and they won't tell the truth when you need it the most. But the same thing can be said about Tiffany Haddish, who got her second DUI in two years, and she got tired of being used by friends in the industry. Then people thought she was falling off, and she had to come back and say this. Don't ask me to do sh Oh, she's a nice person. Tiffany's so nice and so sweet. That nice sh That nice sh It's hard to be a nice to you raggedy motherfuckers. And y'all lazy. Lazy. Stop being so lazy. God. I'm just tired of people playing with me. And then recently she did a comedy show at the Laugh Factory and the Laugh Factory is important because she admitted to the fans she's struggling with alcohol addiction. Are concerned for my well-being and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the prayers and all the concerns. Thank you to the people that woke me up and uh, yo, I'm woke. I'm free of everything, everything. And she doing good. I'm out here enjoying what God made. God made. So how does this come about? Well, rewind Nima. It all goes back to that Cat Williams interview with Shannon Sharp. Now, both of these people have their own individual issues, but Cat Williams mentions Tiffany Haddish in this clip. 
And it is taking a shot at her because it is taking a shot at her. Let's play the clip. Like, what are you talking about? They just they think they can rewrite history. That uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. So Tiffany Haddish was in the comment section of Hollywood Unlocked when this dropped. And she said, I am not mad. I just wish he'd get his facts right about me. Dang, I guess I will send him a reminder text. But are we sure that it's Cat Williams? He looks a lot like Charleston White. Can I get a oh sound effect? <laughs> well, I mean, guys, stop the show. Let's take a picture of Charleston White and Cat Williams and let's put it side by side. Now I want you guys to vote in the comments. Yes or no. Does Cat Williams look like Charleston White? Jeopardy music! So guys, you let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe with the bell on this channel to let me know if you feel like Cat Williams looks like Charleston White. But I'll give you my personal opinion. There's no way that Cat Williams looks like Charleston White. And that was the point that Cat Williams was trying to make all along. What are you trying to say? That um, Tiffany Haddish is not a good comedian. Nobody comes to see her. Nobody cares about her comedy. She is a no talent. That is what he's trying to say. There's no way that Tiffany Haddish can go to Shannon Sharp's podcast, Stop the Show. <laughs> I don't even think she would even be invited. There's nobody cares about what Tiffany Haddish would have to say. But that's the whole point of what Cat Williams was trying to talk about, that these people who are in the industry had to do something to get there because their talent wasn't there. He simply said when it came to Tyler Perry and Ricky Smiley, the only roles they're good on is in dresses. He said that Kevin Hart was an industry plant, although Kevin Hart is a little funny. He talked about Cedric Entertainer, he basically said like, wait, these guys who were there are not that good. And I do like Cedric Entertainer a whole lot, but he's not Cat Williams. And when he's talking about with Tiffany Haddish, we can all agree, Tiffany Haddish is not talented. So my question is, what did Tiffany Haddish have to do to get on? Jeopardy music! Let's play a game of Negro Air, shall we? Did Tiffany Haddish A, have to do something strange? B, do something strange? C, for some change? Or D, all of the above? Well, some of you may say D in that situation. If she didn't have the talent, well, how does she get on? And uh, Cat Williams makes it very clear that, um, well, in this P Diddy clip, that if you wanted to get on, you would have to do something like this. And he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Uh, Cause P Diddy be wanting to party. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. Hell. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say them yeah, so I mean, can, freely. Can, 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 I need, can I need another one? You here, get you another one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being. Can't. Man. Can't. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but you know, some of these people. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Kat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. So this is no different from what Corey Holcomb is saying or anybody else is saying. The reality is, is that we all see that Tiffany Haddish is not selling out Netflix shows. She's not selling out for the most part comedy shows. Nobody considers her to be a great comic, male or female based. And he's giving his opinion, which a lot of us that like black comedy would consider 
Tiffany Haddish to be somewhat maybe entertaining, just not funny. And I think that he has a very good point. This is not to offend her or anything. She might be hardworking and she might have levels of talent that we may not know about when it comes to comedy. That's not really what she does very well. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.